Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Strider. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I just checked out this game on the PlayStation Network. Uh, I downloaded the demo for it because I wasn't really sure if I wanted to spend $15 on this. And uh, played through the entire demo and... Yeah, uh, it's pretty damn good and I just bought it on my 360 because that's really the only way in which I can record in uh, this kind of quality. I can't really record anything with my PlayStation at the moment. But yeah, um, one thing I... Uh, one thing you really have to like about this game is it, is it combines a lot of the... Uh, it's very much the arcade game and the Strider Nintendo game as well. And you'll notice that uh, much, much later, like I did, where after the first mini-boss fight I had, I started hearing music from the Nintendo game of Strider, and that just made me go, oh my god, that's so awesome. So, and the controls are fluid, and it's fun, and it's pretty fast-paced, and easy to play, basically uh, wherever uh, you point your control stick, you'll you'll attack in that direction, and you get power-ups. Ooh, shiny thing. Like this one, I get my sliding ability. Pretty awesome. <clears throat> No, not that way. Uh, my only complaint uh, I will make uh, is that I don't like the fact that you can only move uh, with the control stick. That you can't use uh, that you can't use the D-pad to move. You know, because my always common problem with using the stick is the fact that sometimes it'll be a, l a little too overly sensitive, and then you get into problems where oh, I meant to go this direction, but instead, uh, like, let's say, I meant to try to go forward, and instead I accidentally jump, or something like that. Yeah, that's always a pretty common, annoying problem I tend to have with the control stick. So It's kind of why uh, I wish it was always a default, where, yeah, you can use the stick, but you can also use the analog if you want to. I wish that they gave you that option for all games. But, oh, well. But nonetheless, this is still a good game. It's still fun. I'm not exactly sure how long it is in terms of length. Just trying to figure out why the hell I couldn't hit him. Ah. I pose for I am badass. Yeah, I mean, the art and animation in here, it looks really good. It looks very good. Uh, this is certainly something that I would want from a Strider game. More particularly from a Strider remake game. Something that's at least challenging and fun and... and enjoyable. I'm not sure about the story yet. Uh, I mean, there might not really be much of one because it's Strider. So, and uh, in the arcade game, Strider's story was pretty simple. Hey, I'm on this mission, I'm trying to kill this guy, he apparently is evil. Uh, what the hell more do you need, or do you even care? So, but, you know, in this day and age, uh, we crave a lot more from our games, so, shit. You did not just shoot that shotgun at me! Aw, oh, yeah. Ha! You missed, for I am untouchable. I am a strider. Boom, and I like how they also use uh, a lot of the sound effects to to make it you know sound so much like the arcade game or the Nintendo game. And when I was first playing this, I didn't realize like oh, in order to progress, I have to go up this wall. And here we have oh well, here in a second we will.
boss fight. Fifty years. You missed. Ah, missed again. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, dude. Boom! Chopped your ass in half. Now you did. Yeah, awesome. So awesome. And now you get uh, your charged, your charge shot. So cool. Ooh, an, an achievement! So cool. Out of my way. I said out of my way! Actually, let me go, let me go down first. Access this room. I forget what's in there. Oh, here. Listen carefully. That's the Strider music from the first game from the from the original Nintendo. And when I first heard that, I, I was practically freaking out. Like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that's from the Nintendo game. That's so awesome. So cool. Thank you. And what these uh, orb things do is uh, basically they uh, they refill your health. Oh, should jump. Ah, shit. And when I was when I was first uh, playing this, I was a little confused as to why I didn't have uh, a double jump ability. Shit. I'm really hoping I don't die. It's one down. Oh, no, I guess I killed them both. Sweet. I think we'll be coming to our boss fight here pretty quick. And if you're, and if you're familiar at all with the arcade game, you know who the boss is. You've awoken the sleeping dragon. You should not have done that, Strider. So at least this time it's not as ridiculous as it was in the arcade, where you suddenly get all the all of these military uh general politician looking dudes who all jump on each other and they turn into this weird mechanical beast for some random reason. So, yeah, and never climb up. Ow! Mhm. Mm I'm gonna hit the shit out of you. Arg! I don't like that. It's a cold wind blowing emotionally. Guess it's a sign of the times. Sorry. I'm quoting a song that nobody has probably ever fucking heard or will ever hear or will ever hear except for me. And no, I'm I'm not trying to be a fucking hipster or anything like that. That's actually a song that my parents wrote back when they were young. Ah, shit, I was trying to do my cipher charge. Oh yeah. Come on, let's get back up there. Yeah, and these missiles you can't really seem to do anything about. You can't... 
You can't destroy them. Ah, it's kind of annoying. Oh, come on! Let me get up there level. That's so damn annoying. Okay, so at least it doesn't continue with that after the first time. I'm taking a shit ton of damage. You dead, motherfucker! I am the, or was the red dragon. And that was level one. Ah, satisfying. It does look so much more menacing now without the... Oh, uh, and that would be our... Uh... Oh, God, what's that guy's name again? Fuck. I forget his name. But anyway, uh, we will take a break here, and we will be right back for more of Let's Play Strider. <laughs>